Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the facelifted 2022 Chevy Equinox. This one is the LT trim and Chevy did do a few changes to the Equinox. They changed the headlights, the grille and the tail lights and a few things in the interior. And uh, this one does have the confidence and convenience package. But let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, there's going to be a 1.5 turbocharged four-cylinder engine that is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 170 horses and 203 pound-feet of torque, and the fuel economy numbers are 25 in the city, 30 highway, and 27 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this Equinox. If you guys are interested in these standard features this one has, just go ahead and pause the video. And this one has the confidence and convenience package. And the price on this one is 31000 if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Summit White and it does look pretty good on this LT trim. There is four trims you could choose from, LS, LT, RS, and then the Premier. The Premier is the highest trim you could choose. Coming to the front, I think the front looks good. And as I said, the uh, as I said, Chevy did change the grille and the headlights. And I really like the way how the grille looks like. I love the chrome piece up there, right on top of the chrome trim. That's where the daytime running light, it is LED. Underneath the chrome trim is going to be the low and high beam, and they are sitting in reflectors, and they're LED as well. And in the bottom, that's where the turn signal indicator is, but sadly, they are halogen. For 31000 I really wish they were LED, and it does have this plastic in the bottom and it does have uh, parking sensors here in the front. The lower portion of the bumper is going to be finished in flat black. There is this chrome trim, I think it does look good. And there is a bottom grille, it is functional. And the grille is finished in flat black. And it does have a little bit of gloss black in it. So the front does not really look all new but uh, Chevy did do a few changes and uh, it does look definitely better than the 21 but the changes they did I don't think they are that big but let me go ahead and move to the side and I'll show you the side view of this Equinox. Here is the side view of the Equinox and honestly the side view looks the same. To be able to tell that this is the facelifted one you could tell from the headlights but honestly other than that everything is the same. The bottom is going to be finished in plastic which is good equinox badge is going to be on the front door and on the mirror there is no blind spot monitoring system and there is no turn signal indicator but the bottom portion of the mirror is uh, finished in flat black the bottom window trim is finished in chrome top is finished in flat black for the rims they are actually the same chevy did not change the rim design on this 2022 so they are the same as the 21 and the size is going to be 225 65 17 so the size is a little bit small but i'm glad that there is a good amount of rubber and i love it when companies uh, make good amount of rubber around the, the rims on suvs but let's go ahead and move to the back of this equinox and i'll show you the back of this equinox here is the back of the equinox and for 2022 actually chevy did change the tail lights so the design is different and they are darker so they have this blacked out look and i think they look much better than the 21 everything right here in the back is going to be halogen so i really wish that something was led here in the back for 31,000. but the design looks good chevy logo of course in the middle right underneath it is the backup camera and does have the spoiler third brake light is located right there and it is actually led and right here on the side this is finished in gloss black which is good wiper is right there all we drive with LT badges on the right and on the left is the Equinox badge reflectors are located in a good spot and with the confidence and convenience package it will add those parking sensors here in the back and by the way the bumper is uh, changed for 2022 and there is this chrome piece or chrome trim I think it does look good here is the key. The key is very nice and light and it feels nice and solid. It is finished in flat black and it does have chrome around the buttons. It does have five buttons on it. Lock, unlock, 
remote start, power lift gate, and panic button. It does have a physical key inside of it. And Chevy logo is in the back. To open the lift gate, there's three different ways. One on the key, and there is one inside and one on the lift gate. So let's go ahead and open the lift gate. And this power lift gate is part of the convenience, uh, the confidence and convenience package. And there is a button up there to close the tailgate, a handle, and inside there is a good amount of room in this Equinox. And the loading floor is nice and high, so getting things in and out is super easy. And on the right, there are two handles to drop the seats down. There is a 12 volt. And on the left, there is a little bit of storage place right here, some tie downs. And you could actually drop the seats down from this handle right here. But let's go ahead and drop the seats down. All right, so the seats are down and they do go nice and uh, flat. And honestly, guys, there is a very good amount of space in this Equinox. The opening is nice and big, so getting things in, in and out is super easy. And it is nice and wide. Underneath, you're going to be good amount of storage place. And right underneath this, that's where the spare tire is going to be located. Here is the door handle. It does not have a sensor right behind it. So to lock and unlock the SUV, you have to click on this button. For the front door panel, on the left, this is going to be wrapped in leather. It is nice and soft. The armrest is nice and soft as well. This is plastic, but it does feel nice and not empty plastic. So I really like that. And the door handle feels nice and solid. Door locks, window switches, mirror controls, everything looks good. The uh, door, oh, the passenger window switch is automatic up and down. And this is going to be nice and soft plastic, but does feel very cheap. And there is barely any space right here. This is how you open the tailgate and you could open it all the way to the max or you could open it three fourth or you could keep it off speaker in the bottom and the seats are comfortable. I believe those seats are the same. They did not change for 2022. So they are the same as the 21. They do have some orange stitching and the seat controls are on the side with lumbar support. But let's go ahead and move inside this 22 Equinox and I'll show you the inside of it. So here is the interior of this 2022 Chevy Equinox. It does look the same, but Chevy did actually do some tweaking with the gauges. And uh, yeah, definitely it does look the same. Nothing really major changed right here inside of this Equinox. Right here on the left of the steering wheel, there are going to be the cruise controls, lane keep assist, and on the right is the voice command, phone control, and a few buttons right here to control that screen in the middle. You could go up and down, left and right. And the steering wheel design looks good. It is wrapped in leather, which is very, very good. And I think this is part of the confidence and convenience package. And by the way, this Equinox uh, does have heated uh, seats and this is part of this package. And they're going to be a little bit of brushed aluminum right here. I think it does add a nicer touch. And on the left is the turn signal controls with the high and low beam. And on the right is the wiper controls for the front and back. And as I said, the gauges are different than the 2021. And that screen in the middle does display a good amount of things. All the way to the left, you're going to be the headlight controls and the brightness controls for the interior of this Equinox. Here is a screen, it's a seven inch screen, and I think it does look good. Chevy system is nice and responsive. And for 2022, the Equinox has wireless CarPlay, which is good. And let me go ahead and show you the backup camera. Backup camera is nice and wide. Resolution is okay, it's not the best. And right underneath the screen, 
does have the volume knob but there is no tune knob and it does have a few other buttons right here you have a home button you could go back home uh, from touching the screen there's a button right in the uh, bottom and there is a good amount of brushed aluminum slash chrome it does have engine shut off and it does have the emergency light button and in the bottom climate controls are very easy to use fan speed the modes as I said it does have heated seats and it does have dual climate control you could sync them and here is the driver passenger is right here and in the bottom there is good amount of storage place with one USB-C, one USB, one aux and that will volt all the way to the right and here is the shifter that will control the six-speed automatic transmission in this Equinox it does have a low gear and I really like the chrome around the shifter and around the cup holders and there is an e-brake right there and it does have the parking sensor button this is part of this package so this package definitely gives this Equinox a good amount of things and it does have the all drive uh, button right there and they're going to be a little bit of storage place right in front of the armrest or the this storage place the armrest itself it's very hard but inside there is a ton of space and it does have this removable tray and inside there is a very very good amount of space and there is a light and here is the rear view mirror it is definitely small and the bezels are a little bit on the thinner side but they're not too bad and it does have some LED lights which is of course uh, good and OnStar SOS and it does have a sunglasses holder and for the visors the visors are a little bit on the thinner side they're hard but inside there is a mirror and there is LED lights which is nice and those LED lights do turn on very nice and slow here is a backdoor panel and the backdoor panel has the same design as the front and it does have this section right here wrapped in leather which is nice this is plastic and it does feel nice and solid it doesn't feel cheap the door handle feels nice and heavy here is the window switch in the back and by the way all windows are automatic down but only the driver is automatic up and down this on the side right here is wrapped in leather it is nice and soft plastic in the bottom which is fine and the speaker is located in the bottom no case storage place for the back door and for the back seats back seats have an okay leg room I would say about the same size as a Honda CRV and uh, RAV4 and it does have an armrest right here in the back it is nice and soft two cup holders and the seats have the same design as the front they do have that orange stitching and there are going to be some AC vents here in the back they're super small though and there is two USBs in the bottom and that's how the front of this Equinox looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 Chevy Equinox I would like to thank Mike and Chevrolet in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this Equinox if you guys are around and if you guys are interested make sure to come check them out I'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and as always I'll see you next time